Since its inception three years ago, the Coral Coast Sevens Tournament in Fiji has become one of the most colourful events in the rugby calendar. 14 overseas teams, seven in the men and seven in the women, out of a total of 36. Also uh, two or three overseas referees, uh, four or five international media come too. And now we're starting to attract fans from overseas who time their holiday in Fiji on the Coral Coast uh, around the tournament. And that, that's what it's all about. It's one of the best in the circuit. It's so awesome. And just, like, you can tell everyone here in Sugatoka and all the villages, they just, they know the sevens tournament's going on. And, you know, you're going past in the bus and they know you're the, you know, they know you're one of the teams. And it's just such a good vibe and everyone's so happy. And, yeah, it's cool. It's awesome. And it's hard as well. So it's a good quality tournament. This is definitely one of the highest, you know, competitions that we played in. We played in Central Coast, which is sort of a partner. But yeah, this has been a massive step up and I would say it's almost as close as you can to IB sort of level. Being able to play against all these great players, you know, there's Fijian Sevens players around. We played Ben Goins yesterday, you know. Just that experience and, you know, it's great to play in these tournaments in a different country as well in these conditions. I definitely think from last year it's gone up another level, both in terms of competition and also in growth, numbers of people playing, numbers of people watching. And I, I think it's brilliant for Fiji, you know. It's, it is their national sport and it's great for them to get a showcase event here and hopefully it just keeps growing year by year. Ben Ryan has said before this tournament that he is using it as the ideal selection for his team to Dubai, uh, the new Fiji coach of course, and he wants to do that for other tournaments uh, ahead of the World Series. Uh, so Gordon Titchens is here this weekend for the first time. He might go home and now think this is a good way for his team to prepare to get a condition uh, to, the, to the rigours of sevens again. So we'd, we'd love to play our part in the, the growth of the game around the world. The plan is that big events like this will come in three, four weeks before selections made and before we go away to an IRB tournament so gives everyone a, a fair crack because players do come from absolutely everywhere there's 300 plus islands in Fiji and um, you know it's it's fair to say that the, there'll be a, a, an international in each of those islands so it's finding them and giving them the opportunity in front of the national head coach and selectors to to do their stuff you know so they can live the dream there was certainly no shortage of Fijian talent for Ben Ryan to choose from both semi-finals were contested by local sides Last year's champions were Red Rock, but they had no answer to a Fijian army side. In the second semi, Yamathea, formed 18 months ago in the islands of Fiji, stormed to a 27-5 victory. Yamathea is a Fijian word which challenges the enemy to put up or shut up, and what the army had to offer just wasn't good enough. As a result of Yamathea's success here, three of their players have been named in Fiji's squad for the next two rounds of the IRB Sevens World Series, starting in Dubai this weekend. In the women's tournament, in what was essentially a final between the Fijian A and B teams, Fijiana beat Maris Seahawks 19-7. There is a gap in global sevens, really, between below international level and this, This I think, I've seen games that certainly aren't at international standard here and I've seen other ones where um, it would easily be a World Series quarter-final, um, even higher, maybe. So um, this can fill it in, you know, it's, um, and if we can get, you know, groups of tournaments like this around the world, then the global game is going to expand and at the quality we want it to.